But um, that's not that's not the case. What we're rolling into at this time are decisions made previously by council. So you take the point nine, which is uh, I think uh, the basis of this budget, and then you roll in point four for the decisions made by council previously. You don't get uh, get paramedics and uh, uh, grants to uh, arts and culture and things of that sort. Uh, and that comes out to 1.13, and then you divide that two thirds to the residential portion. So just taking the subway out of it uh, whatsoever, you have two. Uh, and then you add the subway, which is exclusively on the residential uh, level, is 2.5. The only workable um, number, you know, the number that you can actually dive into and, and see what you can find, uh, is that 0.9. And so uh, that will have to be done judiciously uh, and uh, hopefully without any impact on the level of services that this city delivers. Would you be satisfied with that though? If it stays at 2.5%, is that? Well, let's, I'm not going to draw any conclusions until we've, we've done our work. What, uh, what do you make of the mayor's uh, restart of the gravy train rhetoric? Just empty, is it just empty? Well, um, you know, it has to be one of the great campaign slogans ever in. Uh, Canadian politics. So, uh, frankly, I'd be surprised if he didn't go back to that. But uh, while that slogan is good at getting you elected, it's not necessarily informed, it doesn't inform people uh, with respect to a budget debate. That's something else altogether. Was the 1.75% that he asserted yes. was a practically a done deal? Was that ever Well, realistic? as explained to me, 1.75 came from out oh, here. Uh, so I'm not sure. Uh, where that came from. I'd love to know. And I would love to know uh, with more insight and precision how he would uh, change that 0.9% uh, percent increase to something that fits into the 1.75 uh, bubble. Is the, is the mayor not in a really great position right now because he can pull a number out of the air and call for it, not have any actual authority over the budget, and then just say that the current is back in action with staff council about well, you have to, in the end, count on an informed electorate, and that's your job, and I know you're going to do it well. Councilor, more news today, again, about the possibility of the bill uh, moving to Toronto. What are your thoughts on this? Uh, I'm an unabashed uh, Canadian football league supporter. Uh, the Argos are the oldest professional uh, football team in North America. Um, my job would be to uh, strengthen the Argo club here in Toronto, uh, help keep the league uh, as strong as possible, and I'm delighted that the league has uh, uh, such a terrific guy uh, leading it. And just imagine what would happen if uh, you have a new stadium in Winnipeg, a proposed new stadium in, uh, in uh, uh, Regina for Saskatchewan, brand new renovated studio in British Columbia, uh, a new stadium in uh, Ottawa, just as the league is collecting itself and poised to move aggressively forward into the heartland of, of Canada, into the media and financial capital, come the Buffalo Bills. Whoa. Um, uh, I would hope that doesn't happen. I'm hoping that uh, this is just an exercise in hyping the gate. Uh, for the next game because uh, to date those games haven't been uh, well attended. Maybe they just try to just get a larger crowd of the uh, Can I ask you about um, the difference between the downtown property tax that we pay compared to say the 905, which as we know is significantly higher by 40 percent. I had a I had a brother uh, who uh, used to call me uh, every other weekend on a Saturday morning and complain about the low tax rates in the city of Toronto. Uh, and wondering why, if he as a retired uh, uh, as a retiree um, should have to pay the higher rates in the 905, but uh, this is an historical uh, imbalance, and it's not something that's going to be rectified right away. The most important imbalance that we're addressing is that between the business rates in the city of Toronto and the 905, and we're slowly, slowly bringing these two closer together. And that will be in the best interests of the residents of Toronto. But would it 
it be get to rectify? I mean, is it is it is there a danger of the sprawl that you know you see in American cities if, if you do try to equalize? That let's, that's let's take a look at that during the budget debate because that's a policy issue that's been. Made. Finally, the mayor's essentially saying the gravy train is back on track. You're saying that the hyperbole. Yes, that's the kindest word I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We don't want extra paramedics. We don't want uh, increased grants to the, uh, to the arts and culture. We don't want any uh, further. Uh, uh, assistance going to the CTC. Council would have to say that before you take the point four off the table. Uh, and they would have to say as well, you know that point five for the subway? We really didn't mean it. They want to take that point five off or reduce it significantly. And if you don't do that, if you don't, if you don't take, uh, make your changes in that subway levy and in the uh, previous commitments of council to uh, uh, infuse other uh, departments with more money, you're left with the point nine. Uh, and they tell us that the point nine is what you need to continue services that people already enjoy. Now, if you're willing to cut that by, I don't know, whatever, whatever percentage it might be, then you're going to have to say to the, to the public, here's what we're cutting, here are the services that you presently enjoy, that you're not going to in order to uh, fit the pro-trustian ban of uh, 1.75. Do you, so do you get, support 2.5%? Hmm? You support the 2.5% increase? I'm, it's, it's right now, uh, I'm open. If they want I to want to hear the arguments uh, from all different sides. You don't make up your mind before the budget starts. You know, you make it up at the end of the process. Now, the mayor said this is the return of the gravy train. I think people have smartened up to the fact that Ross said it's another two miles. Well, I'm not surprised. As I said earlier, it's, the, it's one of the most successful uh, election slogans ever in Canadian history. So I don't, I don't, I don't blame him for falling back on it. It's the obvious, uh, but it's, it doesn't inform the budget debate. It's sloganary uh, in place of rational uh, and reasonable debate. The mayor originally promised to get rid of the land transfer tax, and then it went to 25% in a year, then 10%, and now it seems to have vanished. Is this the end of, uh, of talk of? Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? But it's off, it seems we'll to be see. off the table. From well, you know what? It produces so much money. You know, it, uh, if you replace the land transfer tax with a, an increase in the uh, tax rate, it's the equivalent of 15%. Well, so is the mayor misleading the Torontonians by saying this is the return of the gravy train? If he's not misleading them, he may be, he may be distracting their attention. I don't know. But as I said in my remarks, I'm willing to sit down as the mayor and try and make this the very best budget possible. Have you met with the mayor yet? No. I, I, I keep meeting with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you sought to meet with him? Have you asked to meet with him and he says no? Our, our, no, he hasn't said that at all. Our okay. two schedules have been really... You know, uh, and we're, we're walking different pathways and things of, you know, like that. But uh, I would, I would look forward to uh, speaking. But does, does he know that, though? Does he know that you want to meet with him? Yes, our staffs have talked. And if you'll notice, uh, his, uh, his uh, chief of staff and my policy advisor are sitting side by side. Speaking of pathways, do you feel like you're on a pathway where you're going to end up in conflict with the mayor on this budget? Yes. Sure. But no conflict uh, if it's productive. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Thank you. Thank you.